Good morning, Patton. I'm Katie Davis. This is Hawk TV for Friday, May 6, 2022, and it's an A-Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Please come by the counseling office and check out the bulletin board with lots of helpful information. Each week we will be sharing a mental health minute with you. So today, sit back, relax, and breathe. All PE classes should report to the auditorium today for class. Repeat. All PE classes should report to the auditorium today for class. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and we have more Teacher Spirit Wear winners. Today's winners are Dr. Nyer, Mrs. Basilio, and Mrs. Davis. The carnival is today. Tickets are on sale during lunch again today, along with the raffle baskets. Students not going to the carnival will be dismissed from Hawk Time to the buses first. Students staying for carnival will stay in Hawk Time locations until dismissed to the auditorium. Students will wait in the auditorium until dismissed to the carnival. Students will keep all backpacks and belongings in the auditorium. There will be adults monitoring the auditorium the entire time. Students will not be permitted to go to their lockers. Seventh grade baseball de defeated Pensgrove 10 to 0 on Tuesday as two pitchers combined to throw a shutout. Grant Fleming recorded the game ending strikeout. The team secured the victory thanks to six runs in the first inning. Contributors to the big inning included Brody Knight, Gavin Griffith, Griffith Ethan Childs, and Alex Gonzalez all driving in runs. Patton got things started in the first inning when Brody Knight, who was 3-for-3 three three on the day, singled and knocking in a run. Alex Gonzalez had a homer in the first inning as well. Asher Manning was solid on the mound going four and two-thirds innings, allowing five hits while striking out two and walking one. The team had 11 hits in the game with Brody and Gavin each collecting multiple hits. The Hawks stole seven bases during the game with Andrew Palahunik leading the way with four. The girls lacrosse teams had games against Chichester on Wednesday. The eighth grade team came away with a win with goals by Sarah Vasco, Jane Gudding, K Kiki Glacken, Kelsey Piesco, Morgan Tryon, Kendall Wilson, Ella Roberts, Atley Haynes, and two amazing goals were scored by our goalies Lila Watson and Lily Hannum. The team also had some also awesome goalkeeping work by Claire Terranova, Ali D'Angelo, and Kiki Glacken, as well as great defensive play by Finley Davis, Riley Hyman, and Morgan Tryon. The seventh grade team also came away with a win with goals by Riley Davis, May Stokes, Megan Long, Chloe Almeida, Megan McDonald, Marcella McKenna, Patty Eskinder, Cece Young, Shannon Evans, Emma Cotino, and a goal by goalie Blair Nagel. The team also had some awesome goalkeeping work by Remy Burns, Riley Coates, and Megan McDonald, as well as great defense by Olivia Balchunas. Overall, great games for the Hawks.
Here's today's band schedule. At 812, 7th and 8th grade alto and tenor saxes. At 857, all 7th and 8th grade trumpets. At 942, 6th grade makeups. At 1235 and 120, nothing. And at hawk time, jazz band. Happy birthday to, today, May 6, Logan Grayston, Maxwell Stewart, and Dr. Nyer. For tomorrow, Saturday, May 7th, Derek Hall, Sam Zobel, and Miss Yerish. And for Sunday, May 8th, Michael Huang and Vincent Nguyen. That's all for today. We'll see you on Monday for another Hawk TV. I'm Katie Davis. Have a great day.